Welcome to the African Utility Week studio. Today I am speaking with uh, Tanya Engels, who is a taxa taxation expert at uh, KPMG. She has been speaking at the uh, conference sessions here at African Utility Week. Welcome, Tanya. Thank you, Nicole. Tanya, I just want to get a, a bit of a background uh, into what it is that your role is within KPMG and taxation. Okay. So I'm a tax expert, a tax specialist, so my role is corporate tax and international tax. So usually when you have the foreign investor coming into South Africa, they need to look at a number of things. How do they structure their investment as attractive as possible, as tax efficiently as possible? So I assist with all of that. And then once you have your project um, up and running, how do you maximize the tax efficiencies um, of what's inherent in that project, but still managing your tax risks proactively? So that's where I come in. Right, so very much of an assisting role. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So here at African Utility Week, uh, you presented uh, in a conference track that looks specifically at renewable energy mm. uh, and finance. Uh, what was it that uh, you shared with the audience during your presentation? Okay, so the topic of, of the session that I was part of is how do you reduce your risk of financing? Um, and my role was to talk about when you build your financial model for your independent power producer project, how do you manage the tax risk inherent in that financial model? And really what it comes down to is very simplistically, it's not rocket science, it is get the right advice from the beginning don't think that tax is something that happens in a dark corner by someone that presumably knows what they're doing. Make sure that at a board level you understand what your risks are, what are the positions that you're taking, are you being very conservative, are you being quite aggressive, are you taking a middle of the road approach and make sure that you do it right the first time. So that really is the message. Get professional advice. You know I often say to clients um, nothing is more expensive than a cheap consultant. Um, so don't think you can get away by outsourcing it to people who don't really have a depth of tax knowledge. Do it right from the beginning, make sure that you get the right people, even if it costs a bit more. Rather do it right and don't have those unnecessary costs, penalties, interest that you didn't anticipate as part of your financial predictions. Right, right. And thinking ahead, and I think that uh, with um, independent power producers, this is the last thing that, that, that they are thinking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Right. And you also sat on a panel discussion. What was that uh, looking into? Um, that looked at a, at a number of issues, um, but all around the concept of how do you reduce the cost of your financing. Um, so from a tax perspective, the takeaway that I gave there was, uh, was basically a reiteration of make sure that you do it right the first time. Don't underpay your taxes because that's a risk, but certainly don't overpay your taxes. So the only way that you can pay the exact right amount of taxes, which is legally required from you, is to make sure that you've got proper advice to structure it correctly. And uh, were there any uh, questions from the audience uh, that really surprised you, or was it the expected questions that were coming through? There was actually a question that was quite surprising, because one of the other gentlemen on the panel talked about what they do, which is very innovative and very interesting and they crowdfund their projects in rural areas in Africa with Bitcoin. So there was a question from the audience as to, um, so if your income is in Bitcoin, does that get taxable? Um, and I said to the audience, I can honestly say that no one has ever asked me what happens if I get income in Bitcoin, but off the cuff I would think yes, unfortunately it is probably taxable because Bitcoin has a monetary value that you can use to then buy assets or services, etc. Right, right. So that was a, a very surprising question. <laughs> and uh, this then brings me to the last question. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, something of the future. So in terms of taxation, do you have any predictions for us? You know, the, the, I suppose the downside of tax is that it's a very slow moving animal. So tax regulations and tax laws don't change quickly. It often takes years of lobbying, goes through a whole bureaucratic process which is very necessary public consultation so tax very often does not keep up with what technology is doing and I see that in the IPP space on a daily basis because we don't have other than one or two sections in the tax act that deals with asset allowances we don't have specific legislation for IPPs and it's really a problem to try and apply tax legislation that we've had since the 60s to something as innovative as, as something in the IPP space. Right. If I, I suppose if I have to give a prediction on tax, um, and uh, it's maybe a bit more than a, a bit more like a warning rather than a <laughs> prediction, it's that at the moment most of your IPPs are in tax loss positions. 
so the revenue authorities are not really interested because they don't see money in the bank for them. But in a couple of years, when those IPPs become taxable, I think we're going to see a flurry of activity in the audit space from revenue authorities. That is quite a prediction. Thank yes. you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Thanks, Nicolette. Thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pomba Fanzale, editor of ESI Africa, coming to you from the African Utility Week studio.